Going the distance with local sports. Covering the Loretto Mustangs. Summertown Eagles. And Lawrence County Wildcats. Basketball. Football. Baseball. And more. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at the Ralph, it's now time for boys basketball action as Lawrence County gets set to take on Giles County for the second time this season. AJ Good once again joined alongside by Cam Mashburn. Taking a look at both sides coming into this one, Lawrence County 5 0 on the season. Their head coach is Joe Wilson. On the other side for Giles County, they're 3 1 on the year. Their head coach is Nick Campbell. Someone very familiar to everyone here at Lawrence County and really around southern middle Tennessee. Last time these two met up back in Pulaski on November 22nd, Lawrence County with a come from behind win in that one. 81 to 77. TJ Gobble went off in that fourth quarter, scoring 28 points. And uh, what we expected in the girls' game came to fruition, a convincing Lawrence County win, and we're hoping what we saw from these two the last time they played comes to fruition again, which was an instant classic. Yeah, this, I mean, Giles County, is. I saw them a lot last year. They were a very athletic team. Of course, Coach Holt had been there for decades. He, he'd been the, he was the head coach there when I played at Loretto. And had I, I had a good relationship with him. I played basketball, uh, summer league ball with his son. We were about the same age, but the last couple of years, things were different at Giles County. Um, I don't know. How, I, I, I couldn't quite put a finger on it, but it, something changed. And I thought hiring Nick Campbell was a great hire. Yes, um, absolutely. I think, like you said, everybody knows Nick here for sure. You know this is a game he wants. Um, he was a longtime assistant here, former former player. Funny story about Nick, we were in Knoxville at a football game this year. Brad Nielsen is with me. He said, there's Nick. I said, it is. So I get up and I go hug this guy, put my arms around him and start whispering in his ear. It's not Nick? It's not Nick. <laughs> it's not Nick. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, this There's probably dude, a lot of people that look like Nick and Neyland State. <laughs> I mean, this cat was straight up Nick's twin brother. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I... I had to do a double take after our, you know, the guy was acting weird. I'm like, are you sure you're not Nick? Because he looked just like him. Yeah. It's crazy. Anyway. Take a look at the starting lineups for each side. Jake Carden, Clay Mitchell, KT Turner, Jack Harper, and JC on coffee will be the starting five for the Bobcats. On the other side for Lawrence County will be Jagabri Stevenson, Alex Bedford, TJ Gobble, Logan Boswell, and Luke Maddox. Logan Boswell had a huge game for Lawrence County at Rogers this past Friday. And as we mentioned, when these two met up on November 22nd back in Pulaski, it was TJ Gobble that took over in that game with 28 points. And really the difference in that game was TJ Gobble and his ability to make some big shots down the stretch and really just kind of take that game over in a one-on-one -on -one aspect. But something that we have to recognize now is football season's over for Giles County. They got some of those guys back, so they might have some of that depth back that could make a difference in this game. Yeah, I mean, they, they like I said, they're very athletic. They, they are going to push you to your max as far as intensity, you're going to have to bring if you if you take plays off, they're going to blow right by you. You've got to play defense, keep them in front of you. But at the end of the day, if if you can get it inside the TJ, now you got to keep in mind, Cade Schultz was in that game and had 24. Right, right. So I mean, Lawrence County is still still having the after effects of trying to figure out how to play without Cade. They've done a great job to this point. But this is going to be their a, a real test tonight against Giles County. We know Giles County is going to be good. Giles County wearing their black uniforms, white numerals going from left to right. Lawrence County, white uniforms, gold numerals outlined in purple. They'll be going from right to left to start things off. Everybody is ready and set to go. Maybe. At least we thought they were. And he blows the whistle. Now it's time for Wildcat basketball here on the Exports Network. Giles County will get the opening tip. That'll be Jake Carden. 
Luke Max now set to take him on in the man-to-man -man as he crosses the timeline. Carden dribbles to his left, picks up his dribble. Nope, now picks up his dribble, throws it down low to Coffey. Coffey shot, no good. Rebound, Luke Maddox. Max going to bring it back the other way. Sends over to Stevenson. Stevenson spins, kicks out the Max. He'll try a deep three. Back iron, no good. Rebound. And it went off a Turner and will stay with Lawrence County. Gobble to take it out of bounds here for the Wildcats. And gets it over to Maddox. Max now over to Bedford at the wing beyond the three-point line. Out to Boswell. Boswell now back over to Bedford. Bedford sends it back to Boswell. Got Gobble being double-teamed down low. Stevenson over to Maddox near the corner. Max, and now we're going to have an offensive yeah. foul called here against Gobble. Yeah, that's not a foul. It didn't look like much. No, it's it's not a foul. Yeah, God will pick up his first, team's first, 7-17 here left in the first. Press put on here by Lawrence County. They get it inside to Harper. Harper going to try to bring it back the other way. Guarded here by Maddox. He gets across the timeline, almost stolen away by Stevenson. Now over to Coffey. Coffey, nice pass down low. And off the glass and in is Clay Mitchell for the first points of the game. It's nearly blocked there by Gobble. Bedford with it. He crosses over, hands over to Stevenson. Stevenson loses that one off his foot. Bedford can't save it, and that will go over to Giles County. 6.53 here, the clock stops. Lawrence County will put on the press. Harper to take it out of bounds. The one way you keep good athletic teams in control and from really wanting to run the floor is to play great defense. Lawrence County is a great defensive team. Bad pass there off of the fingertips of Turner will go out of bounds. Gobble will check out. Blake Long will check in here. Long, who had a big game against Rodgers on Friday as well. Max crosses the timeline. Minute 20 into the first quarter. Giles County leading two to nothing. Stevenson over to Long straight away. Now over to Maddox at the wing. Max now will drive. Throws up a runner. And an offensive foul. Now they're going to call a block now on Mitchell. They've originally called a charge, now a block is going to be called on Mitchell. That's the right call, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it will be two shots. Coach yeah. Nick Campbell wants an explanation. Yeah. He's like, why did you make that <laughs> signal? Yeah. I'm, I mean, it mistake. You can make yeah. sometimes you just yeah. make mistakes. Like I, yeah. I, you know, if you're an official, like I said, look, I. I made the wrong. Yeah. I made the wrong motion. Yeah. I meant to do this. Better to call it immediately after instead of you know, a minute later or realize it a minute later. As Maddox misses the first, Lawrence County has been better at the free throw line as opposed to last season. As he hits one of two, two to one is the Giles County lead. Minute thirty into the game, Carton well, that, with it being trapped throws it over to Harper. There's no excuse for not being a good free throw shooting yeah. team. Harper over to Coffey. Coffey swings over to Mitchell, back to Coffey, now over to Harper. Harper with it straight away, drives to his left, now goes into the paint. Throws up a layup, no good, and the rebound will come out to Logan Boswell. Boswell now will slow things down a bit. He'll get it across the timeline. Boswell over to Stevenson. Stevenson back out to Bedford. Bedford here, guarded by Mitchell in the man-to-man, -man, drives into the paint, sends over to Long on the baseline, tries to go back door to Stevenson, just a little too long. Stolen away, coming back the other way. Carton, his shot, no good. He thought he was getting some contact there. It didn't come. Now coming back the other way. It's Stevenson now over to Long. Well, he jammed himself up underneath the basket. You're not going to get that call too often. Boswell, there. NBA range three. He knocks it down. Lawrence County takes its first lead at 4-2. to Press put on. Harper gets it. He's guarded here by Bedford. Bedford will get it across the timeline. Excuse me, it's Harper gets it across the timeline. Now over to Carton. Carton. Gets his pass now, intercepted here by Boswell. Boswell coming the other way, left hand to layup, up in, and he is fouled. As the student section singing happy birthday to him. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Great timing. Couldn't, yeah. have, couldn't have done that any better. Gobble will now check into the game here for the Wildcats, and checking out will be Luke Maddox. Boswell here with a chance at the M1. And he misses. He'll go out of bounds off of Lawrence County. We'll go to Giles County. It was Coffey that picked up the foul. Now coming the other way, it's Harper. 
Harper throws it over to Turner on the baseline, gives it back to Coffey, right hand to layup up and in. Coffey picks up his first points, leads down to six to four. Bedford gets the inbounds, three minutes in here into the first quarter. Gets across the timeline over to Gobble. Gobble beyond the three-point line. Over to Boswell straight away. Boswell back to Gobble. He's going to drive. Oh, and wow. we're going to get a foul called here against Harper. TJ, uh, man. <laughs> that was that a scary yeah. fall you know, for a big guy. Yeah. No. A pair of free throws coming up for TJ Gobble as Luke Maddox has set the check back in. And yeah, that looked pretty dangerous, <laughs> especially yeah. as tall as TJ is. First free throw from Gobble on its way, and he hits the first. On the way here tonight, my son said, I want to be a player like T.J. Gobble when I grow up. I said, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I was like, not Luke, not – no, T.J., he's, he's, he's big. Yeah. I'm like, all right. You know T.J. really well, so you're just <laughs> yeah. having some fun with him. As he hits oh, yeah, both, yeah. both free throws, Lawrence County now three of five from the line. They lead it eight to four. Harper with it. He's guarded here by Maddox, who just checked in. It did surprise me, though, um, that he's paying attention that much. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Coffey's going to try a deep three off the front iron, no good. And Mitchell comes up with the offensive rebound. Now over to Carden. Carden drives the baseline, kicks out the Turner. Turner back to Harper straight away over to Mitchell. Oh, That's wow. well beyond NBA range and knocks it down. What a nope. shot by Clay Mitchell. Not much you can do about nope. that. It's a one-point Lawrence County lead. I, always told, I was always told growing up, they're going to shoot him there, don't guard him until they make it. Well, he made it. We well, made it. Now you got to guard <laughs> now it. Now you got to guard it. Maddox will send it over to Gobble, fakes the three, driving to the paint, kicks out the Boswell. Now to Blake Long. He'll drive the baseline. Goes reverse layup, oh. no good. And Coffey comes up with a rebound, and now we got a two and one coming the other way. Coffey, Euro step, right handed layup, no good. And coming up with the rebounds, Mitchell once again. Now swings over to Turner. He's going to drive the baseline. His runner's up, in, and he is fouled. And he'll go to the line for a chance at the M1. Well, it is good. Gobble will pick up a second foul. Stevenson will check back in. And Logan Boswell will check out. Yeah, I think TJ Carter Hughes is going to come get TJ. Next stoppage. Turner misses the M1 opportunity and a rebound now by Carden. Throws it down low to Coffee. Now it's going to be Harper for a deep three off the front iron. No good. Rebound to Cabri Stevenson. Nine to eight is the Giles County lead. Stevenson with her across the timeline. Hands over to Maddox. Max kicks here to Bedford in the Got corner it. for three. Oh. Back iron. No good. Rebound Maddox. Max kicks out the long. Long to Stevenson straight away. He's going to try a three. Back iron. No good. And fight How for the rebound. And it will come out to Turner. I mean, TJ has position. That's a walk. Walk, excuse me, Harper with it the other way. He'll drive into the paint, left hand layup, no good. Rebound, Bedford. He'll throw it ahead now to Gobble. Gobble can't save that from going out of bounds. And, ooh, some rough stuff on the other end, just an accident. As Hughes will now check in for Gobble. And it'll just be. So close to that being a really good stretch pass. Just, just out of the reach of the big fella. Kareem Bryant will check in for KT Turner. Orange County now with four turnovers. Coffey throws it into Harper, intercepted by Stevenson. Stevenson now over to Maddox. He'll try a three. Back iron, no good. Fight for the rebound. And Bryant's going to knock it out of bounds. It will stay with Lawrence County. It's Lawrence County kind of running in what uh, the girls did earlier, just getting open looks, just not, not putting them in the cylinder right now. Long inbounds into Maddox. Now to Bedford in the corner. Bedford back to Maddox. Man to man put on by Giles County. Stevenson over to Hughes. Hughes will drive the baseline. Now back out to Stevenson over to Maddox. Max will try a deep three. Knocks it down. <laughs> Nothing but net from Luke Maddox. He's got four. Lawrence County retakes the lead at 11 to 9. Coffee with it the other way. Hands over to Harper. Harper back to Coffee. Coffee swings it over to Mitchell. Thinks about a three. Will now dribble and drive into the paint. Dishes out the carton in the corner. He'll try a three. Front iron no good. Rebound to Stevenson. Stevenson will now hand over to Maddox. Maddox long pass to an open long. Long right hand to layup. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. It's going to go off Giles County and stay off Lawrence County. What a great pass. That's one of those, obviously, you got to make. But Turner anyway. will check back in and check it out. The thing I, I've been card. impressed with so far in this game is Lawrence County's full-court press is when Giles County does get 
break it, and they're contesting the layups and making it tough, and Giles County's not making them. They're not fouling either, so no. that, that's key. So this crew is foul happy in the girls' game as Bedford drives. Right-handed layup off the glass and in his first points. And Lawrence County sends the lead to four, 13 to nine. That was a strong individual effort there from Bedford. That's quick he, first step, very decisive. He's so quick and so it explosive. It Turner is. with it. Over to Harper in the corner. He's being double teamed. Throws it into Coffee. Coffee is fouled on the way up, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Now go against Blake Long, his first team's third. So Giles County is a lot like Columbia. And it's no, no, Coach Campbell, of course, came from Columbia to Giles County, but loaded, got a lot of athletes, very talented. Sometimes they struggle with finishing. And it's and it's not a quarter or two quarters. It can be a whole game. that's just who they are. Yeah. Yeah. They just they struggle scoring the basketball. Yeah. That can go in space. Uh, that's something I want to see if they have improved on over last season. Coffee, it's one of two. Carden and Matt King will check in. Coffee and Mitchell will check out. It's also a problem they had against Orange County in the first yeah. game of Pulaski, just sure. not hitting the one to two foot shots at the rim. 13 to 10 is a Lawrence County lead. And now Logan Boswell straight away for three. Front iron, no good. Fight for the rebound. Good Carter job, Hughes Carter. is going to come up with it. He gets it out to Boswell to Stevenson. Stevenson, long pass over to Maddox, and it was deflected off of Maddox and will go to Giles County. Each side now with four turnovers here in the first quarter. Carden will take it out of bounds just beside the Giles County bench. Inside to Bryant, hands it back to Carden. Carden will get it across the timeline, crosses over, spins, gets a shot blocked from behind by Blake Long. That was about to be a nice, pretty finish, and Blake Long yeah. made sure that didn't happen. Cardin to take it out of bounds to the right of his basket. Now to Turner. Turner will try a three. Front iron, back iron, no good. Fight for the rebound. And that's going to go off of King and will go to Lawrence County. They're letting them play down low. I like that. Yeah. I, I personally. No, there's you know, been nothing egregious. No, really. it's not. And I think it's the right amount. I think they're doing a good job with that. Maddox over to Stevenson at the D point. Now crosses over Brian. Gets it over to Boswell in the corner over to Hughes. Hughes kicks out the long. Long facing the man-to-man -man over to Stevenson. Fakes the three. Now we'll try it. Misses everything. Rebound Harper. Harper now ahead to Carden. Carden in transition. Gets nice out stolen steal. away by Luke Maddox. That's Max just... coming the other way. Over to Long in the corner. He'll try a three. Knocks it down. <laughs> Boswell's got eight. Lawrence County leads it 16 to 10. That's huge. I mean, oh. Carden over to Harper, and that one's stolen away by Jacabry Stevenson. Stevenson with the two on one. Layup up, no good, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And the Giles County fan base <laughs> not liking uh, what no. was going on on the other end. As Brian picks up his first foul, this team's fourth. That's two highly skilled players. Going up, timeout, Giles County. Yep, they call a 30-second timeout, their first of the game with 28 seconds left in the quarter. Take that break with them here on the Exports Network. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to the courthouse. This is the X Sports Network. Giles County burns its first time out of the game. They trail Lawrence County 16-10, 28.7 seconds left here in the first quarter. Jacabry Stevenson going to go to the line to shoot two here for Lawrence County. First shot on its way off the back iron, no good. Lawrence County now three of six from the line. Giles County's one of three. Next free throw from Stevenson on its way. It's one of two. His first point, Lawrence County leads it 17-10. Carden inbounds in the turner over to Mitchell. Mitchell now over to Bryant. Bryant will walk it across the timeline. He's guarded here by Maddox. And he picks up his dribble. 
Yeah, he's looking for somebody. Gets over to Turner. Turner now over to Mitchell. Mitchell will dribble out the Lawrence County logo. Ten seconds left. Loses it. That one will go into the hands of Luke Maddox. Coming the other way. Maddox now being double teamed. Turner steals it away. Foul. And Maddox is going to foul Turner in the process. I, I know he didn't want to make the turnover, but he was triple teamed. There was not a lot he could do there. And at that point, that's a good foul. Right. Really good foul. Because that's an easy layup exactly. going back that's the other way. That's a very heads up play. Max picks up his first. That's the team's fourth. Bryant will inbounds over to Carden. Carden, two seconds up, drives. Reverse layup, no good. No. And we get a foul called here no against way. Drake Osborne. No, that looked like a charge all the way. As Osborne will pick up his first. Now we got a, a pair of free throws coming up. It's the second time tonight, AJ. We've seen a, after a quarter in a foul call at the last second. May not see another one all year. And he knocks down both free throws. So that, or he, did he hit one of two or he hit both? He got them both. He got them both. So the 17 to 12 is the lead here for Lawrence County after the end of the first quarter. Well, at the start of the second, we return here on the Exports Network. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick and GMC dealer. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Back here at the Ralph Lawrence County after the first quarter of play leads at 17 to 12, and they'll start off with the ball here to start the second quarter. And, and just like I, I talked about at the beginning, it's the defense for Lawrence County that's really shined out here for them. They're, they're such a great defensive team, and that was something that Shane Clark did. Coach Wilson done the same thing. It's just instilled that defensive mentality. Osborne over to Stevenson, now over to Maddox. Back out to Stevenson, fakes a three, will drive, kicks out to Maddox. He will try a three. Got it. Oh. Off the back iron, no good. Fight for the rebound, Bryant. And we get a jump ball call that will go to Giles County. Boswell thought he stepped out of bounds, but his argument goes to I Noah thought he Bale. was going for the fist bump, yeah. saying thank you. He might not have been. <laughs> I, I thought that's what he was trying to do, fist bump the ref. Maybe what, I don't know. <laughs> Mitch, Mitchell gets the inbounds, and he'll walk it across the timeline here for Giles County. Mitchell man-to-man -man put on here by Lawrence County. He's guarded by Alex Bedford. Now out the Carden. Now kicks out the Mitchell. Another deep NBA range three. Misses everything. Rebound. Comes out the Drake Osborne. Now to Jacabry Stevenson. And he'll bring it across the so other way fast. with speed. And tries to find Osborne and eventually throws it out of bounds. As Harper and Coffey will check back into the game here for... Thought that might have deflected, but I guess it, I guess it didn't. Just that's the second time he's tried to find somebody and yeah, threw it a little bit too fast or a little bit too ahead of him. Yeah, it. sometimes trying to fit it in a tight window isn't always a smart, the best play. Not saying it's not a smart play. If you can do it, it's great. But Carden with the now for the Bobcats. A minute into the second quarter, he calls out the play facing the man-to-man -man here from Lawrence County. Carden dribbles to the corner. He's guarded by Maddox, trying to get it in the coffee. Kicks it back out to Turner. Turner over to Harper, now to Mitchell, over to Coffey. Coffey tried to drive the baseline. He's fouled by Boswell. Yeah, Boswell was a little late getting to the baseline there and tried to recover and didn't get there. Carden will take it out of bounds. It's Boswell's first team six. Blake Long will now check into the game, and coming out will be Luke Maddox. Carden takes it out of bounds to the left of his basket. Throws it in the Turner. Quick shot up. No good. Rebound Alex Bedford. Bedford now going to come with it the other way. Gets it across the timeline over to Long. Almost intercepted by Mitchell. Long fakes a three. Now to Boswell. Back to Long. Long over to Stevenson. 
Now over to Bedford in the other corner. He'll dribble it out to the wing. Now over to Boswell. Boswell loses it, tries to save it, and throws it right in the hands of Turner. Seven turnovers now by each side. Turner coming away with speed, tries to transition. That's fake the transition three. Now it's Garden for three. Rattles out, no good. Rebound, Boswell. Good rebound there by Luke. Or not Luke. That's <laughs> <laughs> I've done that a couple yeah, times this yeah, year. <laughs> I'm going to do a couple more tonight, I'm afraid. Logan. Bedford now to Long. Back to Long. Corner three. Yes, knocks sir. it down. Blake Long with his first points of the game. Lawrence County leads it 20 to 12. Cardin now is going to walk it across the timeline. Blake Long waiting on him. He'll now dribble and drive into the paint. Tries to dish it to Coffee. Throws it out of bounds. Eighth turnover against the Bobcats. As Carter Hughes will check back into the game and checking out will be Drake Osborne. Keep in mind, TJ Gobble's been on the foul for most of the game with two fouls. Boswell with it across the timeline over to Bedford. Bedford dribbles, drives, nice. kicks to Stevenson here in the corner for three. Knocks yeah. it down. He's got four. Lawrence County leads by 11, 23 to 12. When the lid comes off, you could t- you could feel it. Timeout, hey. Giles County. But when much like the girls' game, once the shots start falling, the better team's going to pull away. And Lawrence County so far has been the better team. Nick Campbell calls a full timeout in the second of the game. We'll take that break with him here on the Exports Network. For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. And back here at the Ralph Lawrence County leads it 23 to 12 with 520 left here in the first half. Jake Carton with it across the timeline for Giles County. Hands over to KT Turner. Turner's going to try a deep three. Front iron, no good. Rebound Carton. Carton, left-handed shot, no good. Rebound Alex Bedford. Bedford picks up his dribble. Well, nope. I thought he dribbled. He didn't, but he'll bring it across the timeline. And now hand over to Stevenson straight away. Gives it over to Long. Blake Long now drives, crosses over, spins in the paint, tries to dish over to Carter Hughes, who comes up with it eventually. He's in the corner, baseline drive, and get an offensive foul called against Carter Hughes. Carter will pick up his first, the team's seventh, as Luke Max will now check back into the game, and Logan Boswell will check out. Now eight turnovers for each side here in the first half. And the inbound in the Cardin. He's being trapped in the corner by Stevenson. Throws over to Harper, who did a good job scooping that one up. He gets it across the timeline. Stevenson right behind him. Now over to Turner in the corner. Picks up his dribble over to Cardin straight away. Now to Mitchell. Fakes the three, drives into the paint, dishes out the coffee. Coffee crosses over. We'll try a baseline jumper. Front iron, no good. Rebound. Comes out to Bedford. Loses it. Fight for the ball. Good job by Cardin. Now coming the other way is Turner. His shot is up and in. Turner's got four in the leads down the nine at 23 to 14. Maddox now with it. Sends it over to Bedford. Has it just beyond the Lawrence County logo. Now drives to the wing. Kicks out the long. He fakes a three. Now out to Stevenson. (laughs) Stevenson over to Maddox. Maddox will now bring it back out to the Lawrence County logo. Man-to-man put on here by Giles County. Over to Bedford. Bedford. He'll drive the baseline. Throws up a floater up and in. Good job by Alex Bedford. He's got four. Leads back out to 11 at 25 to 14. You know, it's impressive to me about Lawrence County is they don't have that 6'7", 6'9", kid like a Bryce Cliff, but they've got a bunch of kids, 6'2", 6'3", that that are quick. And can jump. And can jump. Fadeaway jumper there by KT Turner. What a move, what a finish. She's got six. Leads back down the nine. Stevenson coming the other way. Harper flopped. High pass over to Blake Long, speaking to someone that's tall, and he's going to get uh, fouled from behind by Mitchell, and looks like he's going to go to the line to shoot three. 
And he will. That was a break there. I, I think that if I'm here, it looked like oh, it might not have been. But when you come from behind like yeah. that, the officials shielded out. Mm-hmm. They're going to make that call every time because yeah. he didn't have the angle we had. He was behind that. He couldn't see that. Long will hit the first free throw. Long did a good job selling it, yeah. too. It looked like he, uh, yeah, it does when he, yeah, it looked like he got hit by a two-by-four <laughs> across the arm. You know, that's, that's what you got to do, though. Like they say in wrestling, he was selling it. He was selling it. He, he got to it. it. That's exactly right. You got to do it. Next free throw from Long on its way. Now checking in will be uh, Logan Boswell. Stevenson will check out as Bryant will check in. And checking out will be Coffey. Long here with the chance to hit all three. Next shot up. Rolls all three in. He's got six points. Lawrence County with their largest lead of the game at 28 to 16. Carden coming back the other way. Wildcats also 7 to 10 from the line. Harper with it. Over to Mitchell. Mitchell now to Harper. Thinks about a deep three. Sends it back over to Mitchell. Mitchell will drive. Kicks out to Bryant. Bryant. Long pass over to Carden. Carden drives the baseline. Shot up. No good, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That will go against Carter Hughes, his second, team's eighth. A pair of free throws coming up for Jake Carden. Bobcats three of five from the line so far tonight. First shot on its way and in. No subs for either side. Next free throw from Carden. He hits both. Carden's got four. They're now five of seven from the line. 28 to 18 is the Lawrence County lead. Hand over to Bedford. And Bedford will now dribble it back out to the logo. Hands over to Maddox. Maddox now over to Boswell. That one was tipped there by Bryant. Boswell over to Long. He'll try corner three. Nothing but net. Blake Long with nine. Lawrence County leads by 13. He's having a heck of a second quarter. Harper with it. Facing the press. Gets across the timeline to Mitchell. Mitchell back to Harper at the logo. He'll drive to his left. Hands over to Bryant. Bryant will try a mid-range jumper. Banks it in. His first points. And the lead's down to 11, 31-20. Bryant's one of those kids that was a starter for Giles County last year. He's got a lot of talent. And a lot. He he plays hard, too, which is impressive to watch. Long out to Bedford. Bedford drives. Floater up. walked. And they're going to call a walk. That, you know, that's so close because we've seen that a lot tonight that they didn't call. We saw kids spin in the lane without dribbling. It's unfortunate, but... It's probably the right call, even though it's not getting called every time. Osborne Stevenson nice. in. Nice still by Blake Long. He's going to get fouled on the way up. He's going to go to the line here to shoot two as Carden is going to pick up his first team sixth. It's now nine turnovers by Giles County. And Long has a chance to go in the double figures here at the pair of free throws. I always love guarding the inbound like that, especially when you got longer arms like Long does. First free throw is on its way and in. Because you can you can affect so much about about the defensive structure of the game and, and proved it right there just getting that tip. He hits both. He's got 11 points. Are now nine to 12 from the line. 33 to 20 is the lead. Two minutes left here in the first half. Mitchell coming with it the other way. Oh wow! Yeah, a lot of pushing there as Turner has it in the corner. Now out the Harper beyond NBA range three back iron. No good rebound. Blake Long. Difference between the two games. Lawrence County's winning on the glass as Giles County did that over in Pulaski. Boswell over to Maddox, actually tipped into the hands of Long. Now back to Maddox. Maddox will drive. Over to Osborne in the corner. It's a two shot, but it was blocked there by Harper. This one's coming the other way. Bryant over to Mitchell. Mitchell in transition, tries a three. That one's blocked by Long. This one's coming the other way. Boswell to an open Stevenson, left hand to left, and it's in. I think Luke has twisted his ankle a little bit. He, he's kind of being a little ginger on it. He's, he's not got near the speed that he typically Carter. does. It might take him a couple plays to get it back under control. Carter's floater in the lane is no good. Osborne rebound coming back with him is Maddox. Now over to Long. Steps back. Probably could have taken the baseline there. Stevenson with it. Thinks about a three over to Maddox. Max drives. Layup up. Some contact there. Rebound. Jacabry Stevenson, and that one's eventually going to come out to Turner. 
Turner loses it, regains possession, comes the other way. Under a minute left in the half. Turner, Euro step up, shot is See, in, and he's fouled. How's that not a walk? That's the same thing that it was shorter strides. You right. know, it was, it's the same the number of steps. Have a go on Boswell, his second team's ninth. And Turner here with the chance at the M1. Free throw on its way, and no good. Rebound Osborne. Bobcats now five of eight from the line. Turner with eight points. 40, 45 seconds remaining here in the half. 35-22 is the Lawrence County lead. Max now going to dribble out at the top of the Lawrence County logo. Carden finally putting on some pressure here. Max now going to call out the play. Hands over to Boswell. Now back to Max, and he'll hold it at the logo. Carden's going to come out. Now Max going to dribble around. Now bounce pass over to Boswell. Boswell sends it back to Maddox. 15 seconds left now in the half. And it over to Boswell. Boswell now over to Long at the logo. 10 seconds left, and they're going to run the play. Boswell. And throws over to Long. He'll try a deep three. Front iron no good. Rebound Osborne. That's that one's tipped into the hands of Harper. Maddox tries to come up with it. And that will be the end of the half after some rough stuff. And Max is wondering where the foul is. And... Fluffy can't find it. So at the end of the first half, Lawrence County leads this one 35-22 to 22 after two quarters of play. When we return, we'll have girls head coach Wendy Scott for a halftime interview. It's coming up next here on the Exports Network. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. This is the X Sports Network. Join here at halftime by head girls basketball coach Wendy Scott. And Wendy, another good, impressive win. And really, the third quarter is what really propelled you guys. You outscored them 36 to 6 in the third quarter. You doubled your points from the first half there in the third quarter when you guys really came along. Absolutely. We could have done that the first half, but we just <laughs> chose to to wait, I guess, for whatever reason. But um, I'm proud of them for responding um, from halftime and, and finishing strong with the second half. Um, we had a, had a lot of contributions and picked up our defensive intensity. For you guys, like you mentioned there in the first half, you forced a ton of turnovers. You out hustled them. You got a lot of rebounds on the glass. How frustrating was it that, you know, the shots were just not falling in the well, first half? Well, shots don't fall all the time, but we didn't do a good job on the offensive glass, and that's something that we have to make sure we do, especially against the zone. If we're going to be shooting a lot of outside shots, is we got to have a strong presence on the offensive boards. And uh, we just weren't getting after them like we should have been. But, uh, like I said, I'm proud of them for responding and getting after it in the second half. You guys forced 32 turnovers. You got 29 points off of those turnovers. Once again, when you guys are able to work so well defensively, it's really kind of the difference between everyone you play when you force turnovers and get so. It get is. Those we points. just have to do what we can do, and each individual have to do what they can do. Sometimes we get complacent and sit back and want to watch somebody else get it done. When it's a, if, if everybody will do what they're capable of, then that's what makes us who we are. Um, so I mean, we just got to we got to put it together. We got to put it together for four quarters. JC and Katie couple big nights once again it's good to see them come out almost hitting 20 points each yes that is absolutely you know what I need I just need them to be aggressive you know yeah. scoring is going to come from different players on different nights um, but I, I need them to be aggressive and when they're aggressive everybody else seems to do a lot better um, but uh, I was proud of them for for being aggressive Husband feeling better now that Ohio State's in the playoff. Is he feeling is the household a little less? Nice? I guess so. I try not to mention it very often. <laughs> but yeah, he's in a lot better mood now. That's good. Well, you guys got Athens coming up here on Friday. Where where do you want to see your team progress going into that game on Friday? Um, I mean, we we've got to play. I want us to be consistent. Like we're working on our consistency for four quarters. We can't sit back and you know wait on 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 other people to do. And, I mean, we've got to make sure that, that we're, we're ready. Um, but I also would like to thank everybody for bringing their kids out tonight to elementary night. I tell you, it, it brings a lot of joy to my heart to see all these little kids running around in purple 
um, in their uniforms and just an ex exciting time for our players, and I hope they've had a, had a fun night. Yeah. Head coach Wendy Scott, thank you for stopping by, and good luck on Friday against Athens. Thank you. All right, and coming up next, we'll have the start of the second half of the boys' game here on the Exports Network. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 Five. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Introducing Cloud9 Fiber to Lawrenceburg. We take great pride in being the only locally owned and operated internet company within Lawrenceburg and Lawrence County. We're now offering up to gigabit services with plans starting at $50 per month. Surf the internet with blazing fast speeds and reliability, all while keeping your investment within Lawrence County. For more information, visit cloud9fiber.com to request for us to build your area next. What really matters during the ball game, we get schedules for the whole season. We plan it out, we map it out, but then we must realize that we're living one day at a time, right? Jesus said in Matthew 6 and verse 34, Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Use today to serve God. Make the most of today for the Lord. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. Articare keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Cares, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Cares isn't just a company, it's a family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Kalaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. 
No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Make 2022 the year to refresh your home. And who are you going to call to help? Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's largest furniture store. We've stocked our three acres of showroom and warehouses full of inventory and got to make room for more arriving daily. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, all from the brands you've told us you love. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. Great food is just a short drive to Heine's Barbecue in Lawrenceburg. Mouth-watering is just one way to describe the amazing flavors of the best piece of Heine in town. When you dig into a plate of pulled pork, hand-chopped brisket, chicken, wood-fire oven pizzas, and the menu goes on. Wash it all down with a swig of Heine Shine Lemonade and then make your way over to the gift shop full of Heine sauces, snacks, and more. Heine's Barbecue, Highway 43 North in Lawrenceburg. AJ Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. Welcome back, everybody, here to the Ralph. The Ralph, excuse me, as we are wrapping up here our halftime festivities. Elementary night here as all the boys and girls teams here in Lawrenceburg were being introduced. Taking a look at the first half stats, Lawrence County leading it 35 to 22. Logan Boswell has eight. Blake Long leads all scorers with 11. You've got Ja'Kabri Stevenson with six, Alex Bedford with four, T.J. Gobble with two, and Luke Maddox with four. On the other side for Giles County, K.T. Turner leads the Bobcats with eight, Clay Mitchell with five, Jay Carden with four, just J.C. on Coffee with three, and Kareem Bryant with two. Take a look at the hustle stats. Lawrence County has forced 10 Giles County turnovers, gotten 11 points off of those turnovers. Giles County has forced 11 Lawrence County turnovers, but just gotten two points off of those. Four offensive rebounds for Giles County, five second chance points, two offensive rebounds for Lawrence County, and no second chance points. And also would like to mention over at Summertown, sophomore Grayson Burleson just pitched, picked up point number 1,000 with a really? minute 50 left in the second quarter yeah. in that game. He might be the area's next 2,000 point score. Yeah, and, it, and you know, not to take anything away from Grayson at all. It, they get to play, start playing in the eighth grade, yep. but he's a fine ball player. Yeah. And I, and like I said, yeah. not to take anything away from him, but a thousand points as a sophomore. Unreal. It's especially Unreal. on the guy's side. It's especially when he he had two brothers in front of him that were getting a their bulk share of the points the previous two years. It's going to be his team now. I, you know, as far as the scoring aspect goes, um, it, it, they're going to be fun to watch. Just yeah. like everybody else in the county, all yeah. three teams are really good teams. Lawrence County will start off with the ball here to start the uh, second half. Leading it here, 35-22. T.J. Gobble will take it out of bounds. Original starting lineups here in for both sides. Maddox gets it over to Boswell. There's a down low to Gobble, left-handed off the glass and in. What a play to start the uh, second half. They find Gobble down for his fourth point of the game. Carden coming the other way. Being trapped now, throws it down low to Coffee. Coffee, he goes off the glass and in. He's got five, and the lead's back down the 13 at 37-24. Maddox now coming the other way with it across the timeline, facing the 2-3 zone. Bedford crosses over Mitchell. Stevenson in the corner for three. Knocks it down. He's got nine. The lead's out to the largest of the game at 40-24. Carden coming with it the other way. Kicks out here to Mitchell. Swings over to Harper. Thinks about a deep three. Now hands over to Turner in the corner, brings out to the wing over to Coffey. Coffey drives. Oh, we got a clear foul, yeah. offensive foul on Coffey. Maddox took the worst of that, and that will yeah. be the second foul against Coffey. It's the team's first. And make that now 11 turnovers against the Bobcats. Never calling for the trainer, and um, I don't think the trainer's going to be able to do no. anything for that one. No. Uh, I don't think he's going to do anything for that one. It's time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maddox hands it over to Bedford. Bedford in the corner. He'll dribble out to the wing. Lobs it over for Boswell. Boswell drives. Kicks over to Stevenson. Fakes the pass. Now hands over to Bedford straight away. Bedford drives. Fade away oh, runner. No good. Rebound Mitchell. Mitchell coming the other way with it. He gets it across the timeline. Hands over to Harper. Harper back to Mitchell. 
Kicks back out the Harper over to Turner at the deep wing. He'll try a three. Front iron, no good. Rebound, Bedford. Bedford, Maddox now over to Boswell. He'll try a deep three. He misses everything. Rebound, nice job by Maddox. This one's going to come out to Bedford. Good hustle by Carton, who knocks it out of bounds. And Mitchell came very close from going into the third or fifth row there. That was good hustle by the Wildcats to keep that possession alive. It's... As long will check in for Maddox, who gets a much-deserved break after taking yeah. a pair of elbows to the, as they say, as Gorilla Monsoon would say, the solar plexus. <laughs> T.J. Gobble tries to go inside to Bedford. It's intercepted by Mitchell, and it's coming the other way. Mitchell hands off the coffee. That one's going to be stolen away by Blake Long. Long comes up with it the other way. Picks what. up his dribble over to Bedford. Long's had an excellent game tonight. Bedford picks up his dribble. Now over to Long. Long picking up where he left off against Rogers on Friday. Bedford lobs it down low to Gobble. Gobble, nice. reverse left, nice. can't get it to go. Rebound will come out to Mitchell. Mitchell the other way, over to Harper. Fakes a deep three, now to Mitchell. Now to uh, Carden. Carden picks up his dribble, hands over to Turner. Now to Coffee, And Coffee's going to get fouled. That's going to go on Ja'Kabri Stevenson, going to pick up his first, team's first here in the third quarter with 5.34 remaining in the third. TJ did a great job catching that pass and going to the opposite side of the goal because a lot of times the big guys will try to stick with that side, but he had enough awareness to know he had to get to the side, just couldn't, couldn't complete it. As Aaron passed there, and it's going to be stolen away by Lawrence County, now coming the other way. It's Gobble. Gobble kicks to Stevenson in the corner. Now a long pass over to Bedford, nice. hands over to Boswell. He'll try three, nothing but net. Logan Boswell is into double figures with 11. Lawrence County leads by 19, another steal. It's Long in the paint, floater up, and it's in. Blake Long now leads all scorers with 13. Now make that 17 point, excuse me, 16 points off 14 Giles County turnovers. Harper guarded closely by Stevenson, gets it across the timeline. Harper now over to Turner, he'll try a deep three. Front iron no good, rebound, fought for him one by Mitchell. Mitchell swings it in the corner to Harper for three and he knocks it down and that will cause Nick Campbell to call his third timeout of the game. I believe it will be a 30 second timeout. We'll take that break with him here on the Exports Network. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. AJ Good goes the distance for local sports on the X Sports Network. Back here at the Ralph Lawrence County with the off to a great start. They lead this one 45 to 27 for 439 remaining here in the third quarter. Off of a another Giles County turnover. Lawrence County will get it. Oh, excuse me, they hit a three-pointer, then the timeout happens. So it's Luke Maddox with it. He hands over to Logan Boswell. Now over to Long. Long pulls up. Takes out the defender, knocks down the jumper. He leads all scores with 15. The leads out the 20, 47-27. What a fantastic game, man. He is growing into something special. He really he is. is. It's, this is I, I haven't watched as many games as you have, but this, this could be on to something here for him. Another steal. Luke Maddox with it now. Maddox dribbles in and out of traffic. Now brings it over to the corner. That's Tries a foul. to throw a down low to uh, Gobble, and that's going to be intercepted by Carden. 13th turnover by the Wildcats. It's Harper with it across the timeline. Now over to Mitchell. Mitchell fumbles it and gets it back to Harper. Now to Carden. Carden will drive. That's a walk. I Shot mean. up and in. Carden's got six and leads down to 18. Quickly ahead the other way. It's Logan Boswell. Boswell drives. Shot up. In and it counts. And AM1 for Logan Boswell. With the foul coming up on Bryant. What's going to be the difference for Lawrence County moving forward, let alone, the, I mean, tonight for sure, but they can go pretty deep on their bench and, they, and not have any drop-off. 
You know, a lot of teams, when they have to go to the bench, you see drop off. You don't see that with Lawrence County. They're across the board. If they get in the game, it's the same level of play throughout. That's going to be big down the stretch. Matt Keene checks in for Carden, and you got Bedford. And I believe Hughes in as Logan knocks down the AM1. 50 to 29 is the lead. Logan Boswell now with 14 points. Mitchell. Guarded by Bedford here in the man. The man hands over to Harper. He'll try a deep three. Misses. No good. Rebound to Carter Hughes. Now over to Maddox. Maddox, a long pass out to Bedford. Bedford will try an NBA range three. Almost goes in. Rebound Mitchell. Mitchell now coming the other way. He crosses the timeline over to Turner. Turner thinks about pulling the trigger. Now finally passes to King. King tries his first shot of the game and knocks it down. It's a nice shot there by King. 50-31 50 to 31 is the lead. Under three minutes left in the third. Boswell coming the other way. Nice, nice pass here to Hughes. Hughes goes up and under. Can't get it to go. Rebound Harper. Harper now going to bring it the other way over to King. King's going to try transition three. Banks <laughs> it in. Back to back made <laughs> shots for my, Matt King. The lead's down to 16. He missed it so bad that he made it. Okay. Maddox now in the corner to Bedford over to Boswell. He'll try an NBA range three. Got Knocks it, it down. Logan Boswell leads all scores with 17. The lead's back out the 19. Not just Blake Long, but Logan Boswell's really yeah. progressing into an unbelievable player here at they're, Lawrence County. They're very similar type players, too. Long, tall, yep. and hit a shot and from shoot. anywhere yep. on the court. Mitchell thinks about a deep three, now sends it over to King. He'll try another three. No good. Fight for the rebound. Boswell throws off Turner, and Turner dribbles it out of bounds over to Lawrence County. Stevenson and Gobble will check back in. It will be Long and Hughes to check out. Maddox with it, coming the other way for Lawrence County. Leading by 19, under two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Boswell, now over to Stevenson. Stevenson gives it back to Boswell at the Lawrence County logo. Now hands over to Bedford. Bedford throws it down low to Gobble. Gobble. In the paint, right hand hook shot in, and he's fouled. And he's got a shot at the M1. That's unguardable. He had two guys on him. When you jump up and are fading away, it doesn't have to be a big fade away, just ever so slightly. And you keep that apex of that ball high, it's almost unguardable. King picks up his first foul. Joe Dangerfield will come into the game. And KT Turner will check out. Gobble here with a chance at the M1. Wildcats 10 of 13 at the line here so far tonight. Shot on its way, back iron no good. Rebound comes out to Harper. Harper now the other way with it. Now over to King. King's going to drive, kicks back out to Harper. Has it near the Lawrence County logo, backs into it now. Minute 30 left in the third. 21 point Lawrence County lead is Nick Campbell's. Looking frustrated as this guy's just not running what he wants him to yeah. run. Brian into hurt. the paint, shot up, no good. Rebound Maddox. Coming the other way. Maddox in transition. Nice, nice pass to Stevenson off the glass, no good. Rebound King. Then Stevenson tries to rip it away. And now we're going to get a technical foul called. I believe this is going on Giles County. Yeah, I think so. There's a jump ball that's going to go to Giles County. On number 15, Matt King. Well, the technical will negate the jump ball, right? So it'll be free throws and Lawrence County ball. So King will pick that one up to second foul. Now Stevenson will try both free throws. Really, we haven't seen much hot stuff between either side. No, it is a little surprising because of the rivalry. I mean, Coach Campbell and Coach uh, Wilson both are going to – that's probably been talked about, hey, just keep it cool. But that was yeah. just a, 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 two kids going for the same ball, and yeah. one kind of ripped it out. I'm sure there was something said that the official didn't like. Stevenson misses the first. And I think a 21-point lead has a lot to do with it. Yeah, it's a little where, frustration on the Giles County side for sure. I mean, it, understandable. Stevenson misses uh, them, them both. both. As Drake Osborne will check in for Boswell. As King will check out, I believe uh, checking back in is Bryant. Stevenson now over to Osborne. 
And they try to throw it down low, and that one's intercepted. Bryant's going to bring it back the other way. Guarded by Stevenson. Now we're going to get a block called against Stevenson. So we were we talked about in the girls' game about post players and footwork and how it's how that's hard for a lot of coaches to teach. Same thing with entry passes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, entry passes to the post. I think is an is a aspect of basketball at the high school level, or really any level, that's overlooked a lot. Yeah. It's a lost start almost. You it don't is. hardly it, see a lot of it anymore. Mitchell with the take, no good. Rebound, Osborne. As a post player, you're dependent so much on that pass being at the right spot for you to make a move. If it's not, you're dead in the water. Bedford will have it at the Lawrence County logo. 35 seconds here remaining in the third quarter, and they might be lining up the play for the final shot. Bedford now being guarded here closely by Mitchell. He's going to have to get rid of it soon. Just dribbles out of traffic. Picks up his dribble over to Maddox. 20 seconds left. Card's going to come out the garden and then back up. Now 15 seconds. Maddox now dribbles, gets out of traffic. Ten seconds left. They're going to start running the play. Maddox is going to get a screen from Gobble. Lobs it down low to Gobble. And he goes up, and he's going to get fouled on the play. More than likely going to go to the line here to shoot two. I think the foul's going to be on Bryant. Yep. That was a nice pick and roll by Maddox and Gobble. TJ only had... I believe just one point in the first half has yeah. really come alive here in the second. He didn't play but about two minutes in the first half, maybe three. Hits the first. Same thing happened to him at Rogers, but when TJ yeah. catches fire, the rest of the team really just kind of feeds well, off. Sure, him. absolutely. When a big guy when a big guy gets hot and gets and flicks his wheel, it opens up the outside. I lo used to love watching Bryce Cliff and Kirk Kent play yeah. because they could work that so well. Cardin's flutter uh, at the buzzer, and that's, he gets okay. all called. That's the right foul. call. That's the right call. I hope Luke's all right. He caught one yeah. in the face. Man, he's taking a beating tonight. Yeah. That's Cardin's second, team six. Bedford is trying to find somebody. Gets at the gobble. His shot at the buzzer. <laughs> shot so, it over. If that's football, that's, it's good. That's, that's three good. points. That's but three. Not yeah. a basketball. <laughs> not basketball. Lawrence County in control after three quarters of play. They lead this 57 to 34. Well, the start of the fourth quarter when we return here on the X Sports Network. It's time for some straight talk about zero turn mowers. Husqvarna zero turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight up deal on the best in professional zero turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North, or visit LawrenceburgFlooringAndMore.com. Back here at the Ralph, Jake Carden starts off the fourth quarter, misses. Dangerfield goes up, knocks it down, and he's fouled in the process, so he has a chance here at the M1. As the foul will go against Gobble to pick up his third, a team's third. As Cam, this wasn't exactly the game we were expecting to uh, start well, this you, one off. You didn't really know what what to expect in a lot of ways. I think we, we could almost take the first game and throw it out of the equation based on the lineups for both teams being significantly different in some ways. But this has been total domination by Lawrence County. I mean, they this game has never looked in doubt, ever. Yeah. Gobble's going to get fouled down low here by Bryant. Giles County, I don't, I don't know if they – I know in, in past they, they're not a great shooting team. But I suspect – I expected them to be a little better than that tonight. Maybe they are, and they just hadn't hit the shots tonight. But you could see the frustration slowly build as the game went on. When Lawrence County went on their runs, you can start seeing the frustration build. Gobble misses the front end of a one-and-one. One. Lawrence County now 12 of 19 from the line. 
Harper going to try a deep three, rattles it home. He's got six, leads down the 18 to 57-39. Boswell over to Maddox. Maddox will cross the time. Well, eventually crosses the timeline. <laughs> so he a did bit. a little bit. Boswell over to Stevenson now in the corner. Long pass to Bedford in the other corner. Bedford picks it up, throws it to Boswell over to Stevenson in the corner for three. Wow. Nothing but net. Stevenson into double figures with 12. Joe Wilson going to call his first timeout of the game. It's a full timeout. We'll take that break with him here on the Exports Network. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. This is the good life. I'm Mike Keith. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Back here at the Ralph, Florence County leads at 60-39. to 39. Just seven minutes left here in the game. Mitchell with it across the timeline for Giles County. Dribble it out, gets it over to Carden. Carden. Tries to kick it out, and that one's stolen away by Bedford. Bedford coming with it the other way. It's another kid that's out of nine. It's not tonight. He is only has four points, but everything else he's yeah, done on the not, scoreboard yeah, has been that, impressive. Stevenson for wow. three again. He knocks it down. He has got 15 points. Lawrence County in control, leading this one 63-29. to 29. Stevenson along each with 15. Boswell with 17 here for Lawrence County. Harper over to Carden in the corner, dribbles out to the wing, back to Harper in the corner. He'll try a three. Front iron, no good. Rebound, Bryant. Bryant gets a shot blocked nice. by Long, and they say he fouled him in the process. Yeah. And that I don't, will. Not. <laughs> I don't agree with that one either. First free throw coming up here for Kareem Bryan on its way, and it's nothing but net. It, it looked clean from high above the gym floor. Of course, you know, when you're down there, things are, they look different. Yeah. One, not saying one's right or one's wrong. Yeah. Malachi Brown and KT Turner check back in as he hits one of two. Bobcats now five of nine here from the line. Six of five remaining in the game, 63-40 is the Lawrence County lead. That was my son, Lincoln. You <laughs> could probably hear he does not aware that that comes through the headset. Long dribbling out of traffic. Runner in the lane and gets that one to go. Blake Long leads all scores with 18. And Lawrence County now up by 25. Mitchell over here to Malachi Brown and just checked in. Now it's Harper. Harper drives. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Comes out to Alex Bedford. Now coming the other way with it is Maddox over to Bedford. Bedford dribbles behind his back. Will now bring it back out. You hear the Lawrence County bench trying to milk a little bit of time here. We are almost as Boswell gets that one knocked out of bounds by Harper and will stay off the Wildcats. Coming up very close on running clock range here. Well, this is, you know, we were talking in the break. This is where that pass is deflected out yeah. by Giles County. In the last couple of years, the, this Giles County team would lose their composure a little bit when it was a game like this in these last few minutes. So far, Coach Campbell's done a great job yeah. keeping them under control and, and, and keeping their composure. I mean, they, they're a very competitive team, and that's, that's what you get sometimes. When that fire burns, yeah. you can't turn it off. Boswell's going to try a three. He knocks it down. These guys are just fighting for the leading score yeah. at this point. He's got 20. They lead it 68-40. to 40. Just, and they're playing. Giles Cow is still playing hard, but not dirty. There's a difference between playing hard and playing dirty. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. exactly right. I mean, you don't ever want your team not to play hard. Period. And if you can, if you can, if you can play hard and get to that edge without 
crossing, you've done your job as a coach. In the corner now, KT Turner will try a three. That front iron no good, and that one's tipped into the hands of Logan Boswell. Boswell coming with it the other way. He'll drive nice pass yeah. out to Bedford <laughs> off the glass and in. He's got six, and Lawrence County has now hit the 30-point mark at 70 to 40. That's pretty incredible pass there. That was great awareness. Harper with it at the top of the key. Tries to hand it over to Mitchell and eventually gets it there. He'll try a beyond NBA range three. He's already hit one, but can't hit that one. Stevenson coming the other way. He'll drive, and he gets fouled big time on the way up. Mm -hmm. I believe that's going to go on Mitchell. And it will. That is his third, a team's eighth, and now that's, a one and one coming up for Jacaber. That's one of those is the offensive player. You know with the game like it is, you know going up. It's not you're, – you're probably going to take a tumble. And he did a good job of not abracing himself. I'll put it that way. Carter Hughes will now check in as Luke Maddox will check out. Harper and – Mitchell will check out. Checking in is Latarius Brewer. And he missed that one. And Patrick Holt. It's one of two. Chicabry's got 16 now. Bryan with it. Gets it now over to Brewer. Nice give and go to <sighs> Mitchell who misses. Befford's going to come with it the other way. Giles County has missed a lot of shots. I, I, I think they would typically make. Um, they've had some opportunities, not to say it, but, I mean, this has been a dominating game to this point by Lawrence County. They've, they've played exceptionally well. They throw it down low to Carter Hughes. Hughes kicks it out to Boswell. He'll try another deep three. Back iron no good. Rebound Alex Bedford. And Bedford gets called for the travel well, in the process. He walked because he got upended, but that happens. Tucker, Osborne, and... Uh, And Braden Fields will check in as Bedford, Boswell, and Maddox check out. Shot up, no good. Rebound coming the other way is Drake Osborne. Oh, man. <laughs> and Osborne gets fouled on the way up. A little bit rough there at the end. I didn't think he got the memo for a minute. He, he was just going to go in there, blowing a China shot, trying to make that two. And <laughs> He didn't fall. That's good. He, he knew he was going to take a shot. First free throw from Osborne is in. Now coming in for Lawrence County will be Aiden Stevens, and Blake Long will check out. And uh, KT Turner will check out. And... Checking in is Deshaun Howard for the Bobcats. And as Osborne hits both, this first point leads now 73 to 40. Brewer comes with it the other way. He kicks out here. It's going to be a three pointer from Malachi Brown. Misses. Carter Hughes comes up with the rebound. Hughes gets it over to Stevenson. And they're going to come back quickly the other way. Stevens with it now at the Lawrence County logo. He's going to dribble at the top, kind of. Trying to kill a little bit of time. Hands over now over to Tucker. Tucker, the drive here from Fields. Kicks out the Stevens. Now back to Tucker. He'll try a three. Off the back iron. No good. good. Rebound. rebound. Nice. Fields up and in. His first points of the game and their first second chance points. Lawrence County leading it 75 to 40. With okay. it in the corner is Holt. Holt. Kicks out here to Brewer. Brewer within the corner, stepped out of bounds, and that will go to Lawrence County. So this is what I was saying earlier in the game. Even though you've got a lot of bench players who don't see a, a ton of minutes in the game right now, the intensity did not fall off no, at, not all. at all. And the cleanness of play has not f fallen off. As Brian checks out. you got Cade Nivens checking in here for the Bobcats. Stevens now with it across the timeline for Lawrence County. Now out the fields. Fields to Hughes. Hughes dribbles, picks up his dribble out the field. Fields now in the corner to Tucker. Tucker drives, and the tough take off the glass um, and in. This is a total team team <laughs> win tonight, man. This is there's everybody. There's not much more you can say. No, I mean, there's really not. They just played so well. I mean, three, this. Sean Howard tries a three, can't get it to go. Rebound comes to Stevens the other way, and Stevens gets fouled in the process. 
They're playing fearless. They're they're playing under under control, clean. They're knocking down shot. I mean, they're shooting the ball lights out. But I mean, this is one of those nights that you want to, if you could bottle it up and recreate this every game, you're not going to have very many losses at the end of the year. Stevens hits the front end of his two shots. Is now Lawrence County's in the double bonus. Next one on its way. Back iron, no good. Rebound comes out the Brewer. If you if you play like this, or e- e- even close to this, most nights, the teams that beat you probably going to end up in Murfreesboro. Brown kicks it out here to Nivens, and Nivens is going to get fouled. That will go on Osborne, who will pick up his first team's fifth, I believe. Yeah, I, the way Lawrence County has played all season, it, it's – they have so much depth. They have so much athleticism. They got so much talent. It's just hard to hard to stop them when they play the way that they play. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely impressive. So you got Blake Taylor and Colton Tucker will check out. Find the other one that just checked in. Would be LeBrian Morgan. Now still coming the other way, it's Carter Hughes. Hughes will dribble out, 35 seconds here left in the game on this rolling fourth quarter clock. Taylor, now to Morgan. Morgan drives, shot up and in. His first points of the season, Lawrence County, now leads it 80 to 40. It's it's remarkable. Yeah, I, their shooting percentage has got to be above 60%. It's got to be. not missing anything. I mean, to double up a team like this is – I mean, th- th- those shots yeah, like that, those, they I mean, they've missed in. a ton of those tonight. Yeah. I just don't – I know that's one th- area Coach Campbell will look and say, look, we got to hit those. But uh, even if you did, even if they did hit those, yeah. Lawrence County yeah. still wins by 20. Yeah. I mean, it's just an incredible – Performance by the Wildcats. Yeah. Not much you can say after this, nope. Cam. A domination from start to finish. Lawrence County improves to six and zero on the season. Giles County drops to three and two. Both of those losses coming to Lawrence County. Our next broadcast will be here on Friday as Lawrence County takes on uh, Athens. You got Richland taking more. No, nope. goes two. to Richland. Don't goes to Richland, and Summertown hits the road to take on Collinwood. And don't forget. X Sports Live coming to you from Heidi's Barbecue on Thursday night. Join Cam, Clint Brazier, and myself. We'll have its boys basketball night. We'll also hear from North Alabama and UT Southern as well. For Cam Mashburn, I'm AJ Good, and our producer extraordinaire, Kevin Wright. This is the X Sports Network. Have a great evening. This is the X Sports Network.